Каждый хейну, а люди сезину. I came to Yerushalayim over 38 years ago with a yeshiva of about 25 students. After the Six Day War, we built the new building where we are located now. At the groundbreaking ceremony, the Rosh Yeshiva commented, the Dora El Hashem HaShalem B'Sochechi Yerushalayim. My commitment to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, I will fulfill in the midst of Yerushalayim. With tears in his eyes, Tua Shiva undertook to build a yeshiva that would grow into a mokum for Yungalite, for Avrechim, for Kolel Yungalite, who should develop greater in Torah, for American boys, and also for Israeli boys. I cannot describe what the yeshiva was like then. It didn't matter, the accommodations. We had Rebbe, and we still have him, Baruch Hashem. And remember, you had a, you know, the cat set on the tables at night in the dining room. It's the main thing was they weren't there when we came for supper or for lunch. That we had spoons, we didn't have forks or knives because it was in an orphanage, and they had only spoons. It didn't matter. We didn't feel that we were missing anything. We didn't feel we were losing anything, because we had Rebbe. I remember him announcing my engagement. It was like a tata, like a father. But now our boys, they have a chance to see someone who has reached heights, which we don't dream of. Today the yeshiva, Bli Hainora, has 700 students. Baruch Hashem, Baruch Hashem from all over are coming, we have no room anymore. Halavai Bez Hashem, we're building now, and we should be zaycha to build more and more. We know in the yeshiva, we have to be here in place of the parents. And as I would treat my children, that's how I treat the boys here. We watch over them, we are interested in every facet of their growth, whether in ruchnius or the most important thing being a mensch, in midos. That is so important today. And that is emulated by the Rosh Hashiva and all his Talmudim. He's a walking, breathing example of what a person could become. We talk amongst ourselves. We have a question, a problem with the Talmud, or an opportunity with the Talmud. What would Rebbe say? And Baruch Hashem, we can still ask him, and we still ask him. To be able to have that contact with someone. He doesn't have to say anything. Just take a look. You won't find it anywhere else. I don't believe Hashem is Baruch. Hashem all my life. was always my star. Since my earliest years, to be my star, to be my Hashem, to be a never Hashem. To serve cloudy soil as much as I can, you see. And hopefully, uh, my prayer to Hashem is what is. I'm not about Hashem, my youngster anymore, but it's not in 20 years. I should have my kechas to be able to continue this wonderful work. So Shiva gave of himself, gives of himself to be able to serve as cloudy soil, to be the true Evan Hashem. Every afternoon at his home, people come from all over to the Rashiv with their problems, to ask for a bracha, to ask for an eitzah. The Rashiv's words of wisdom and of warmth has put many people at ease and solved many problems in all areas. The Rashiv's dream is to be able to keep the yeshiva going grow and to be able to produce Talmudim. 
I've never seen him without a total care and concern and love for any Talmud who has any kind of problem. That's the thing that's most dear to him, like life. His mysterious nephew's just coming here, just traveling here. I traveled on the plane here. I'm younger than him. It's an effort. Rebbe has to have time for anything that's not necessary. It's mysterious nefesh. It must be very, very important to him. I am proud that the many bochum that have come to the yeshiva have spread the word of the warmth and mysterious nefesh of the Anholo. And really, it stems from the Rosh Yeshiva. Torah R is a place where the people are in tune and committed and dedicated that what Rebbe lives for and stands for and cries for, that that is going to find expression in everyday life and how you deal with the Talmud. What are your priorities? What's most, what do you want from this Talmud? You want him to have bitachin. Binod mochaveray. Hakoras hataif. Every year that goes by now, it becomes a greater proof that this was this is the right thing. The yeshiva is a child of his. We have an achrayis that, that this child of the Rosh Yeshiva, that that child should continue to give him nachas. This is a place which has the Rebbe's imprint on it. There is no other place in the world that has that imprint. <laughs>